Well, hey everybody, this is Bill with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. How y'all doing? Well, you can see that we woke up to a little bit of snow this morning. A little bit of snow. They were predicting one to three inches. I think this is about all we're going to get. I think we'll see some flurries after a while. I was looking at the radar. And uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be much more snow coming our way. But anyway, we're out at a Corps of Engineer campground not too far outside of Rogers, Arkansas right now. And really, when we came out here, we got out here Friday, this is Sunday. We got out here Friday afternoon. And we really figured that uh, we'd be able to take our pick of any of the campsites that are designated for winter camping out here at this particular uh, core park. But when we got here, a lot of them were taken up already. You got some, uh, let me see if I can zoom. Yeah, got some folks over here, on over there. We got some folks over there, and up over the knoll here, there's a whole lot more, too. And in a way, we kind of like that because now we're not here by ourselves. We didn't know that we really wanted to be here by ourselves. The temperature right now is uh, 27 degrees, and it got down pretty cool. Uh, got down colder than that overnight, of course. And of course, they're predicting it to be even colder tonight and tomorrow night. And then uh, Tuesday afternoon, the weather starts uh, changing for the better. So we're looking forward to that. We even had a guy camping in a pickup at that spot last night. I had other spots I could have chosen. But right now, I only have 25 feet of 50-amp uh, cable. We're going to order an extension cord, a 15-foot, uh, 50-amp extension, and uh, then we'll be able to reach uh, some of these other, some of these other uh, service poles. But I knew I could reach this service pole. But as you'll, uh, as you can see here, the uh, the side is not very level. <laughs> no, it's not very level. In fact, what I had to do for my shower drain. You can see I've got the, the sewer hose running down here hill a little bit so it would drain into my auxiliary tank I have for the shower drain right there. We went ahead and got a, uh, well, we had it already anyway. We had a uh, electric heated uh, water hose, but we still went ahead and turned off the, the water here because, of course, the standpipe that comes out of the ground, we turned that off overnight. And I doubt if we even turned it on today. We've got water in the tank. So we'll utilize the water that's in the freshwater tank, but uh, the standpipe there is not protected, so we're, uh, we've got it off for now. But uh, anyway, that's uh, best to set up there. Wind's blowing a little bit. Wind's blowing a little bit. Didn't expect to, uh, to be baptized by fire, you might say, the first time out. I'm going to walk around the other way. I don't want to take a chance on slipping over there. But we're going to go step inside the trailer now, and we're going to see how it's going on inside the trailer. Remember, it's uh, 27 degrees outside right now. Let me walk around here. No, there's a bathhouse right over there, but the bathhouse is closed right now. <laughs> go figure. <laughs> anyway, we're here for almost two weeks. We're going to just wait and see. What I'm going to do once I get my extension cord in from Amazon... Uh, if there's a more level spot available, I will uh, I will move the trailer over to a more level spot because it'll be a whole lot easier to hook up my my drains and everything. And I'm probably I've got these blocks. We had these stackable blocks when we had our motorhome. Had two sets of them. I'm probably going to buy another set to uh, and then uh, learn how to get the trailer up higher off the ground when I pull into a side. Because remember. Our plan is when we go to a particular site to be there for, you know, almost a full two weeks. We towed the trailer all the way out here and I forgot to remove our, uh, our tag off the back. So we towed it all the way out here with this. Fortunately, I wasn't followed by any police officers. All right, this is kind of tricky climbing up here. Give me a second. And get inside the trailer. Deb is in here nice and warm. Get this door shut. All my glasses fogged up. You believe that? It's cold outside. <laughs> it's cold outside, yeah. Are you nice and cozy? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. What are you watching? Uh, it's 
a net, uh, actually it's Amazon Prime. It's about the trains of Switzerland. The trains of Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. What we do, folks, uh, we have a tablet over here. We're going to do a in-depth video about that someday. But we have a tablet here. This is an RCA tablet. It only costs about 100 bucks, But uh, it happens to have an HDMI output on it. And what we'll do, we'll go to Starbucks and sip on $8 worth of coffee and uh, sit there for about an hour and download a whole bunch of videos from uh, Amazon Prime and also from Netflix. Amazon Prime and Netflix both will allow you to download up to 25 titles. Uh, so you can download up to 50 titles total between the two. And that gives us a lot of TV to watch. So uh, anyway, that's the way we do it a lot of the time. We have a lot of our favorite programs already downloaded and we only have to go to find a Starbucks, you know, once every two weeks or so. And uh, then we have that kind of programming available to us to watch at our leisure. In addition to that, my phone, which I can't show you because I'm using my phone to shoot the video right now, but my phone, I have a, uh, an adapter that plugs into it. This particular phone is a Galaxy, uh, Samsung Galaxy S9, I believe is what it is. And, um, it has an HDMI, no, no, it has a, uh, has a USB-C port on it. And I use an adapter that adapts from that over to an HDMI. And I can plug my phone directly into my HDMI cable. And we can watch uh, programs with my phone as well. As long as we got decent service. And out here we have excellent service. I got full bars out here where I'm at. Anyway, it's 27 degrees outside. And you said that you're nice and, and snug I and warm. I am nice and cozy. I'm comfortable. I have my wine. Are on. you drinking wine? Uh, yeah, but I'm about out. Well, it's so. it's not noon yet. It's like... <laughs> Nobody knows that if you don't tell them. <laughs> it's Now, now it's, it's noon somewhere. It, oh, that's true. On the East Coast, well, it's noon. Yes. In fact, okay. it's beyond noon. There you are. So I should have a... A lot of people drink sangria for breakfast. Well, this is true. Is that sangria? Yes. Is is that the one that I don't like? It's like fruit juice. But is that the one I don't like? Yes. But it's like fruit juice. Well, we'll so you're getting your fruit? I'm getting my fruit. Oh. <laughs> you're supposed to have a little fruit every day. <laughs> Okay, right? <laughs> mighty fine. To remain healthy. Anyway, and I thought we had a new health grade. That we are. Okay. <laughs> that, that's our health kick. Okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> everything's working out real well, folks. We just want to want to uh, tell everybody that uh, we're, you know, we're we're, we're learning a few things. Uh, we just threw a whole bunch of stuff in the van, and. You know, you know, we did a video about two months ago about how I was going to start building out the van to haul certain things. And what I, uh, I never had time to start that. All I got done was the, uh, the main floor on the bottom. I got that done, but that was it. And in a way, I'm kind of glad that it worked out that way because, because, uh, we just threw a whole bunch of stuff in the van and now I'm figuring out that there are things that I thought that I would be bringing with me that I don't need. And there's things that I didn't bring with me that I do need. So uh, we're going to take our time with that. I have plenty of time to uh, build out the van a certain way to haul the things once we determine exactly what we need. So anyway, we both took a shower yesterday. The shower worked great. Everything worked great there. Uh, we have, a, you can't see it, but there underneath... Just to the left of your screen where you see the little curtain where the washing machine is hiding behind that curtain, to the left of that is where our six-gallon uh, electric hot water tank sits. And we had plenty of hot water, tons of hot water. In fact, uh, you had to be real careful and not get it too hot, right? Even right. for you. Right. Even for we you. We just take military, military Yeah, we take military-type showers. showers. That's why we have a uh, Oxygenics wand. So we can switch it off. So, you know, the, the, what you do is you wet yourself down, you switch it off, you, you uh, scrub a dub-dub, and then you switch it back on and you rinse off. And that's how you do that. And you can, you know, if you're careful, you can take a shower with, you know, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing around two to three gallons is what it took for me. I'm guessing. Yeah, when you get ready to do your hair, yeah, that's going to be another story. That's right. But anyway, it's 27 degrees in outside and inside. I'll show you that right there. And what does it say? 79. 
Also, outside the humidity is um, 80%, and inside the humidity, as you can see, that number to the right is 42%. So, uh, you know, not a whole lot of humidity. It's been hovering around that ever since we we installed that thing. It's been hovering right around that the whole time. So anyway, everything all works out good. Dev's got her spice rack all full. Got our red shelf uh, all working here. Let me pull that out and show you all the stuff that we have in there. Got our George Foreman grill. Uh, got our waffle iron. Uh, yesterday morning, we had uh, uh, waffles and bacon. And uh, this morning, I made oatmeal. I'm the oatmeal guy. I'm the one that makes the oatmeal. So we had oatmeal this morning. And what we use also, uh, which I don't know if you saw it there, but we use a uh, um, induction cooktop right. for like when we do oatmeal and things like that. And, and I have a pot of beans on in the pot. Oh, yeah. you got a crock pot going right now with a pot of beans right there. Yep. yep. Pot of beans right there. Uh, so, you know, everything's working good. Now, I will briefly mention here... Um, here we have two outlets, and I raised them up on purpose, although we haven't had any issues with any kind of spills or anything. But if, if I'm cooking oatmeal, I actually set the induction cooktop right here. I was able to sit right there on my stool and uh, cook the oatmeal with no sweat. And then we just pulled out the bowls that are in these drawers down here in, in silverware, and we sat here and had oatmeal. When Deb uh, made the waffles and bacon yesterday, we actually discovered that we can cook bacon on the George Foreman grill. We can actually uh, fry eggs on the just George Foreman grill. Up. Yeah, yeah. You just tell them how you have to do that. Well, you researched it on YouTube. <laughs> and you just have to prop up the front legs and then uh -huh. you can cook eggs behind. I put the bacon in front and cook the eggs in the back once the bacon's done so we can have bacon and eggs. Right. Yeah, one, and you, one pan. you pop the egg. <laughs> now, you can't have eggs over easy. Well, I guess you could, but yeah, it, you can just, not yeah, cook them as long. just not cook them as long. But I can't handle eggs over easy. So, you know, we cook them, uh, what, well, it, it's not even what you call over because you never flip them, you know, no, at all. You, you, you but you um, cook them until they're set and then shut the, right. shut the grill back down and cook them for about two more minutes and the yellow's all set that way. Yeah, works really, really good. In fact, I prefer, I love the way it, it does eggs. It's fantastic. We're we're figuring out so many more things we can do with that George Foreman grill and, and we love it more and more. We cook uh, tuna steaks with it. We cook salmon steaks with it. We, uh, You can even take a potato and slice it up into slices. And now we're not getting a promotion from George. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Tell them how you do the potatoes. And we discovered that on YouTube. Uh, YouTube. But how do you, you do the potatoes? Regular potatoes. I usually chew uh, in a bowl. I slice them about quarter inch thick slices, you know, so they're round and mm -hmm. sliced. Mm -hmm. And I put those in a little bowl with a little olive oil and some other seasonings and, and then put it on the George Foreman and let those cook for a little bit. And they turn out golden brown like fried potatoes, but the grease drains off. And yeah. It's probably about as healthy as you can make a potato. Healthy as a fried potato as you can get. Yeah, about as healthy as you can make a potato. <laughs> anyway, uh, we use the George Foreman grill a lot, and we use our induction cooktop a lot. Now, back to these uh, plug-ins here. Now, we got two outlets here. Now, we have a 50-amp service in the trailer, and we've talked about the 50-amp service before. I'm not going to go into it. What I'm going to do is post a link uh, that you can go watch to see what a 50-amp what a service truly is. Um, uh, when it comes to parking and plugging into a 50 amp service at an RV park. Okay. So, uh, we will, uh, we will include that in the description. We'll post a link to that particular video in the description. So you'll know, but, uh, each one of these, and they're, they're both ground fault, uh, or GFCI plugs, both of them, and they're each on their own separate circuit, and each of them are on their, on, there's, there's two bus bars in the panel, two separate a hot bus bars in the panel and each one is on a separate bus bar and uh, so in other words there there's no problem with any uh, power issues so you know yesterday deb had the george foreman grill plugged into one side and had the waffle iron plugged in the other side and uh, still got the heater going and everything's working real good now the heater and we've talked about this before I'll zoom in here so you can see it a little better right there. The heater is, and it's on its own uh, ground fault breaker inside the panel. Uh, so you'll know that. But it, uh, it is just a little 1,000 watt heater. And you can see what it's doing here. You know, it's 27 degrees outside. And it is 79? 
Yeah, I don't have my glasses on because they fogged up. 79 degrees inside. We're going to turn it down here in a little look bit. Who showed up. And look who showed up. We keep talking about our baby Delilah, and she found the hiding spot. <laughs> <laughs> thought I had used every available space, but she, no, she found a spot yeah, to hide. She found a spot to hide. Yeah, so anyway, but she uh, she likes to cuddle up with us at night, and she's adjusting quite well. She's uh, wanting to run outside, and of course we're hesitant. We're not going to let her do that. We we did get a uh, harness for her, so when she does go outside, we do put her in a harness, and she's on a leash. So, um, you know, it's just going to take a while to train her uh, with, on this new lifestyle that we got going on here. Anyway, I don't want to run this uh, too long. And next we just wanted we'll to. Do a walk yeah, next time we'll do a walkthrough uh, on the trailer. And so you'll know uh, more about how this and that works and everything. Uh, right now, we're still learning. We're in, a, we're in a learning process. You know, like I said, figuring out what we do need, what we don't need. Um, you know, little things like that. And that's one reason why we're going to stay close to to home where all of my contacts are uh, clear through the spring, summer, and fall. And during that time, we're going to be taking time to show you uh, all of the uh, different uh, attractions that we have in this part of Arkansas. And uh, hopefully we can show you a bunch of stuff. We, we really do think that... Uh, uh, this part of Arkansas is a beautiful part of the state and, and points beyond in Arkansas. It's not just northwest Arkansas, but there's so many things that we want to show you here before we move on. And that was just me accidentally kicking the cabinet door, that noise there, so don't get worried about it. Huh? <laughs> you weren't worried. Well, I, just, I want to make sure that our that our viewers oh, weren't gotcha. worried. You know, that's what. I, but uh, anyway, uh, the bed is very comfortable. That is a 12-inch thick memory foam mattress. And remember, we've talked about this before. Uh, we weighed the pros and cons, what was important to us, uh, what we had to have, and what was, and then what would be secondary. And number one on the list on the stuff that's most important was a very, very comfortable bed. And we can compromise on a whole lot of other things as long as we've got a very comfortable bed. And, you know, like we said before, and what, what are we going to be doing all afternoon? I mean, what else can we do, dear? What we're going to do, we have, I think, three, maybe four James Bond movies downloaded, yeah. and we're going to have a James Bond marathon. Yeah, we're going to watch James <laughs> Barrett. And when we watch TV at home, where did we go to watch TV? In the bedroom. In the bedroom, on our... TV. On our, our yeah, on our, on our butt, on our 12-inch thick memory foam mattress. And we got the sound bar under here. I turn it up so you could hear it, but... Yeah. Turn it up just a little bit. Okay. Turn it up just a little bit. Yeah. A little bit more. That's just the sound of a train. But anyway, we got the sound bar mounted there. Now, what you can't see also, which is uh, on this this uh, tower over there, you know, the, what the uh, the tablet is laying up against that tower. At the very bottom of that tower, we have a, a uh, subwoofer down there. And when we're listening to music and stuff or certain uh, watching certain uh, programs on TV, uh, it really enhances the sound. We, uh, we really do enjoy it. But anyway, we're going to let you go now. Uh, hope we didn't bore you. But hey, you know, it's not, it's not perfect yet, but it's a whole lot uh, more perfecter than... <laughs> more perfecter than we thought it would be out of the chute and here in a few more days we'll have things yeah i sound like i'm from arkansas well and one guy says i'm perfect and the other guy says i'm perfecter right right anyway y'all take care uh we're gonna let you go now this is bill and deb with i ride tiny house adventure saying Bye. Thanks for watching. Yeah. We'll see you again real soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye now.